In this video, we would like to add a limit stop to the piping model. To add a limit stop to the piping model, what we'll have to do is we'll have to first extend this piping geometry. So we'll click on extend or insert pipe node. We'll click on OK and this pipe continues in Y direction by 2 meters. We'll click on OK. At this node, we would like to add a limit stop. To add a line stop to node number 15, click on Insert Non-Standard Restraint. StartProf opens up a huge window with lots of options. In this scenario, we just want a rigid two-sided or rigid one-sided restraint. We would like to select a rigid two-sided restraint on the local axis and that we want it in the axial direction. So we'll click on XM Axial and then if you click on OK, StartProf will add a line stop. As you can see when I zoom in, you can see that StartProf has added a line stop at node number 15. If this line stop has a gap in it, then you can click on Use Gap and then add say a 5 millimeters gap in positive and negative direction. And when you click on OK, that node number 15 will have a line stop with a gap of 5 millimeters. Now, let's look at what are the other options available. In here, you can also check for allowable loads when you click on this button and then you can enter the allowable loads in here if a structural team has given you that load. In our case, that load is not available, so we'll untick this box. We'll click on OK and we'll return to this window. So that is how you add a line stop or a limit stop to your piping model in StartProf.